Greetings programs and welcome to the video. How's everyone doing? I hope y'all are doing great and let's jump right into this. So have you guys ever had one of those days where you're doing something, you take a step back and realize you just hate it? Yeah, that was me. I recorded an hour's worth of video and as soon as I hit done, hated it. Just like I knew it was just a repeat of last week and I didn't want that basically. So not going to show you guys what I did. Um, I can't in, uh, well I'm not going to show the video, I can tell you what I did. Uh, basically I went exploring. I went to a bunch of different villages. I actually went onto this boat here, had a, a very interesting uh, f um, sail in the face of a pillager. Uh, some more villages over here, went over here. Uh, there is a jungle village here that I didn't get to, uh, a village here I didn't get to, and a village up here I didn't get to. And it looks like there's a hint of a village over here that I'd never went to. But that was pretty much everything I did. And like I said, I just hated it the instant I stopped recording. So I have decided that I'm going to just do some of that exploring sort of off camera. Like I'll like make sure to like let you guys know what it is I've done but mostly if I'm just going to be like popping in to like get a village teleportation um I'm not really going to be showing that off to you guys so the question now is what to do and I've been thinking about that and there's something I found that I never actually got back to in last week's video. And that would be down here. So I, <laughs> I wanted a safe spot to sort of get to down here. And as you can kind of tell, this area is now a little bit on the safer side. Um, but I, what I ended up doing was using a water bucket and sort of just kept mobs away from me until I could get to that spawner and light it up. I'm still terrified of this place. Yep. And that is why I'm still terrified of this place. Is he wearing netherite armor? Dude, that is not fair. I'm only doing like three or four points of ham of uh, damage. There we are. Oh, come on. Okay. I mean, nothing too amazing in that one. Oh! Holy, the knockback! <laughs> um, I think I'm gonna stay away from that. <laughs> Uh, excuse me? This is my house? Oops. 
close. <laughs> so yeah, that didn't turn out well and I still have no clue what to do. So let's build something. Okay, so I was going to jump into a build, but then a wandering trader showed up and he had this, an overworld city map. And that is actually something I would love to show you guys. So Jenna, stay right there, thank you. a compass and break down my bed the other way around I really only just needed one because I don't get one uh, spruce I have you know never hurts to have a little bit of black dye. All right, thank you, Jenna. Uh, something about my house is giving uh, regen powers. So that'd be interesting to figure out why that's happening. But yes, uh, also I did realize I had this map on me, so I'm going to check that out real quickly. And then we're going to check out this. So it looks like one, hold on, so there's north. So one is north and the other is south. So that's gonna be fun. All right, guys, it took a while. I am pretty far out from the house, but in front of us is an overworld city. And as you can tell, there's a theme going on with some of these uh, builds that we are seeing. Um, but this one here looks a lot like an end city. And that is basically what this one is based off of. So I'm going to put that away for the time being and hope there's a village nearby. <laughs> what I'll probably do is um, just get myself killed <laughs> and respawn back at home. The only reason I don't want to do that and I would love to find a city closer is so that I don't have to travel as far as I did because oh you can just barely see it but I'm 6,000 blocks from home so yeah I don't want to make that track again But we did find a city more or less close by. I just wish there was one just a smidge closer. But yeah, I'll uh, jump down and then I will see you guys back at home. Alright, so I am back home now and I thought I'd show you guys more or less the path I traveled. So I went pretty much north until I started no noticing I was going like too high past uh, the house. And so I started traveling east, of course, until I found the city, which I will I think that's the name of the achievement, but I'm gonna at that anyway but yeah so that's what I did long trip anyway as I said before we went out I'm going to build something on that I little island I think so I will once again stop this recording and jump into a time-lapse
All right, and we are back, and I completely forget that I have seasons <laughs> in this. So it has switched over to winter in game, and I don't know if I like it or not. <laughs> but here is the shack. Um, we already have someone living there, so unfortunately we can't move in. <laughs> But I actually really like it. I like how it turned out. It's very simplistic, and I think that is what I like the most about it. Um, I'm not too sure about the wood here. Maybe bringing it down a level will change my mind. I don't know, or just have it stone all the way up. Uh, let me know what you guys think. Inside, very simplistic. Might put another trapdoor there, actually. There we are. And I put in a f couple of trapdoors on the inside to sort of make it look like curtains. Um, I wasn't sure how I felt about it, so I didn't do it on this side. I actually really like how it turned out in here. I also put in a c couple of torch uh, lanterns. These are lanterns. Um, and they have an interesting design to them, and they actually take less of the um, iron than regular uh, lanterns. So, yeah, I kind of went crazy with them. <laughs> so, I thought they would look great. Uh, lots of ferals around here, so if I ever do decide to put, like, a um, villager here permanently, um, they got a nice fireplace right here, which I figured out is what's giving me the regeneration. So, uh, fireplace is good to have. <laughs> um, so barrels, uh, furnace, a nice fireplace to keep them warm. I'm probably going to take the stone cutter back with me. And then outside. I like it. It's very simplistic, but I think, you know, it's nice. Uh, but yeah, that is pretty much all I had in mind for this. I honestly do really love this fishing shack. I probably will actually do a smidge of fishing between this video and the next Better Minecraft video. So I'll let you know what all I caught. I'll probably keep it in the barrels there. With the sun setting, I think that is a perfect place to end off this video. I really hope you guys have all enjoyed it. If you have, please hit that like button. And if not already, please hit that subscribe button and ding the bell to stay up to date with all the videos that I post. And I will see you all in the next video. Bye, everyone.